Okay, how you doing guys, girls, whoever. Um, today I bought a guy's small collection of uh, HO scale trains. I got um, a diesel locomotive, a steam locomotive, a caboose kit, um, one little early box car, a couple of flat cars, and uh, seven Pullman cars and uh, 20 feet of ready track but let me show you what I got for 75 bucks I think I did all right all right this is a um, Southern Pacific I think that's a PA unit or an FL, I think it's PA. Anyway, this he told me that these locomotives were not operating. I put it on my test track, and uh, they do try to run, but there's so much stuff in here. There's hair and hair and lint. Um, the wheels have never been never been cleaned. So. I'm sure it will probably do all right. The body here is the shell is missing a horn, a number plate on one side. See if you can see that a little close. Uh -oh. The light's a little better here. There you go. Number plates missing, like I said, you know, overall, not in real bad shape. I can fix that. I got this car. This is a River Aussie. It's lighted. I tested these, and uh, one of them does light up actually as it sits they're really dusty like the rest and need a good cleaning inside and out probably and the wheels all need cleaned but should be a nice car this one too is lighted railway post office pennsylvania railroad I don't model the Pennsylvania Railroad, I model the Great Western Railroad of Colorado, but I run other stuff as well, so I don't care. It's the dining car. Again, made by River Aussie. This one is not lighted. I'll put some lights in that. And then we're on the Santa Fe equipment. Railway post office, not lighted. I don't think any of these were lighted. No. Well, these two aren't. St. Croix, nice steel car. I'm not sure who the manufacturer of these were, these two. These, these are River Aussie. These have lights also. You can see a light mechanism in there maybe if you look close enough. That's a real nice car, St. Croix. A dining car. That should be lighted. There is a light in there. I haven't tore it apart to see why that didn't light up, but... Okay, not bad. So, for 75 hours, so far, seven cars, uh, and uh, that uh, Santa, uh, Southern Pacific unit, a roundhouse caboose kit, everything appears to be there, directions and all. 
I got this little little guy here, um, Missouri Pacific. Oops. Missouri Pacific. It says uh, something Boston Mass on it. I can't really make it out, but needs a little work. All of them are going to need KD couplers. And that one, the brake wheel is coming off. I got this. I believe it's probably a bobber caboose at one time. I have a couple of beat up flat cars. I might be able to make a work train out of those. Salvageable anyway. And I got these. This is Ready Track. HO gauge. Rails installed. Ballasted. Rail joiners. Um, even has the little tiny nails in there. It's wood. Not bad. It doesn't have any ballast between the ties, but that's not a problem. That can be fixed easy enough. Um, there's 20 feet of that. And... I can't tell if that's nickel silver or not. But even so, I think I'll use that. I actually think I will use this in this section where I have all this stuff sitting. I got about 9 or 10 inches between between the front of the fascia and the uh, uh, backdrop. And I'm going to have a little little yard or something up in here. A little, little industry and a, I think a uh, depot. A little depot up in here. So I'm going to clean this stuff all up and I'll show you what it looks like after it's cleaned up. Oh, I didn't show you the piece de resistance here. This is a 2882 River Aussie. Look at the size of the tender. Tender is non powered. Holds 30 tons, 22,000 gallons of water. Pretty cool. This is an Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe unit. Like I said, he, he told me that this stuff didn't run. I put it on a track. It tries to go, but it's probably very dirty. Need need some maintenance. Needs a good cleaning. It's a pretty cool locomotive, I think. Articulated. So. Not sure how much that would cost. But I liked it. So I got it. I'll clean everything up. I'll clean everything up and we'll see what it all looks like. Maybe I'll get everything lit and running good. So, well, I'll show you my layout, how I'm doing this real quick. Okay, this is where my sugar beet factory and everything's going to be. I dismantled my last layout. Going to put a river through here. 
there's going to be another little factory over here for more sugar beet processing and then this like I said this will be a little couple small industries and a depot and the train will come around there and it will come back up here along with that track over there will come through here and it will eventually all come down here to yet again another sugar beet industry over in here and I'm contemplating a second level for some more trackage and some more industry so that's where I'm at alright I'll talk to you later